Yo, what is good YouTube and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Pink Diamond Oscar Robertson. I am really intrigued by this Oscar Robertson card. I want to see if he is the best point guard in the game because on paper, in terms of how complete he is, stat, badge, animation, and everything wise, and the ability to get every single badge, there are a lot of things telling me it looks like this Oscar Robertson might be the new best point guard in the game. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 20,000 subscriber mark on the channel I upload every single day. Trying to hit 20k by the end of the month of February, which is going to be a big time grind. Need about 50, sorry, about 60 subscribers a day for the rest of the month to hit that. But I do think it is possible, and I would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe if you haven't already. Also, massive shout out to my boy Zach for letting me use his account to record this gameplay. I really do appreciate that as well. And yeah, without further ado, Oscar Robertson, the big O, six foot five at point guard, 99 offense, 98 defense, coming with a 95 driving layup, 95 mid range, 95. 95 three ball, 95 free throw, even an 85 driving dunk, 92 ball handle, 98 pass accuracy, pretty good defensively, 80 block, 88 steal, 94 perimeter, 85 interior, 95 offensive and defensive rebounding is incredible for a point guard, 95 speed, steal ball, 92 excel, even very good vertical and strength, 97 stamina, 94 lateral quickness. I mean, he is statistically super complete. He also has 18 Hall of Fame badges, which include posterizer, agent three, catch and shoot, dead eye, limitless range, dimer, unpluckable, clamps, glove, blow by speed booster, right stick gripper, and bulldozer. So really complete versatile hall of fame badges gold badges as well are insanely complete ha, uh, got gold fast twitch blinders uh, bailout handles for days anchor challenger chase honors interceptor post lockdown rebound chaser precision dunker whistle free points physical handles fast feet i mean they have done an awesome awesome job uh, of making this card really really versatile badges to add rise up outside of that brick wall 94 feet you can't add that actually so that's about it wish he had 94 feet wish he had a move enforcer there's a couple badges i guess you wish that he could have but overall he looks really good now animation wise he's also pretty good like he's one of the better animation wise pgs that we have right now like compared to a lot of the pgs people are running guys like drew holiday and luca and amon thompson like he actually has a very smooth easy consistent pretty good release it's not insanely fast but i wouldn't say it's bad pro dribble style is really good the diagonal down push cross out of pro dribble style is really good you can definitely use that at a very high level um i think overall movement wise like between the legs burst is pretty solid his front escape is also pretty good so like movement certainly isn't insane he doesn't have the best six in the game but it's certainly not bad either uh i i think i think it looks pretty good honestly like i'm, I'm liking what i'm seeing so far uh i think he's gonna his drag back i don't love but i think overall he's gonna move pretty well um and he's going to have the hoff limitless really really good shooting badges the ability to shoot from very deep the flexibility to slash them at a pretty high level as well Although I don't think he's going to be an incredible slasher. I think he's going to be pretty good. Overall, good defensive PG. 6'5 gives him enough size to compete on that end as well. Like, there's a lot to like about Big O, man. I do think he's going to be a really good card. Nice fade there. Is that normal fade? I think he's got normal fade. Perfect. I can work with it. I like what I'm seeing. The Big O is going to be a really good card. Let's hop into a game. Let's try him out. All right, Hutch has Luca, Michael Red, Chris Mullen, Chet, and Joel Embiid. Already has Mullen from Clutch Online. Interesting. But that defensive Luca or offensive Luca, the Romans card, cannot defend at all. That is not a very good point guard option, I would say, against the team that we have out here and my, and Oscar Robertson at point guard. So I would say that's a pretty favorable matchup for me. Let's see what we can do. First possession, open pop, catch and shoot, KP, open, green, light, nice pass, good shot. We love to see it. Beautiful start to the game. Um, let's wall up on the inside let's see what we can do defensively oscar robertson stepping up beautiful get through the screen check good underneath wall up and that mic good dunk yeah we didn't really wind up getting very much separation there i'm okay with it uh let's space the floor and let's see if we can attack the rim go behind the back here i don't love that behind the back animation but shoving luca underneath the rim he does actually have hoff bulldozer there's some legit slashing ability and we get inside we go up for a layup and we finish underneath the rim and we have a five to two lead so far good job going underneath the screen there i like this defense so far uh let's help down here recover beautiful job i like this defense man we're hooping on the defensive end good defense step we're good we're x switch rotate wall up good d oh my goodness look at kp flying in he made that offensive interference i was gonna say i i guess chet touched it or something because i was confused there what happened i don't know how that ball went in it's okay though two points one assist so far for oscar we're gonna try to come off a screen here and get ourselves a three ball if we can come set me a nice little big screen if you could cat i would appreciate it burst through here stop not open i mean blinders that might have been open i don't know it was it was debatable at least uh stop pop oscar he doesn't need much space i missed it i was slightly late that release is decently quick man it's it's a little quicker than i realized i think i'm gonna I'm a, i've been a little bit late on it so far i gotta get a little better with it great block by kp glad he didn't foul 
It's a bad miss by me on a wide open three, but being slightly late isn't something that I'm too bothered by. It means I can get the release off. Just got to time it a little bit better. That's not a big deal. It's on me. It's not on the card. All right. Play some defense here. Uh, let's step up, get through the screen, and show me the defense, Oscar. Let's see what you got. Beautiful. Let's go. He, he I mean, I see 6'5", but like he, a lot of the point guards people are using are smaller. A lot, he could pretty much guard in almost every single matchup. Unless you play against somebody using like Magic Johnson, Paul George, and somebody like six foot nine at small forward, LeBron. Like, if you play somebody with that lineup, I don't know if Oscar can guard anybody on the court there, but that's about it in terms of lineups that he's going to struggle to guard against. Good shot, big O, knocking down the three ball. And he has five points, one assist. Should have eight points, but he knocked that one down, and we will take that. No movable enforcer doesn't strip. That's tough. But he did recover quite well. I like what I'm seeing defensively so far. Even though he committed a foul on that play, I think overall it's been a really, really solid start to the game, and hopefully we can keep it going. Uh, on both ends of the court five points one assist i do think the movement could be a little bit better like his half court sigs are fine but they're certainly nothing special uh fat stop there open three not an open three uh back to big o get him into the screen maybe uh reject the screen drag back attack this way and get into the mid-range chill good pass one more pass ah not really open actually uh good defense honestly pretty solid defensive possession but scotty got a good look and he knocked it down good job scotty pippen making a play out of nothing we will take it and uh come up here and press luca man let's make let's make luca work oh that's a front fade from the mid-range i didn't get a contest i didn't right stick there i did not expect him to shoot that i don't i don't even know if that's the animation he was really looking for but it worked out for him he got a bucket um eight to ten or 10 to 8 we're up right now i don't know if i love the shot creation with oscar like it's good but it's not insane even with pretty good badges like i don't know how how i don't know i i have good burst here fast stop oh that's nice never mind i like him i like him i like him i don't care that i just missed him i like him i like that he can do that uh, no point guards are there aren't very many three hunting point guards who can actually defend as well that are doing that type of thing right now and he's also a solid slasher as well although he could certainly be better um but the fact that he can defend and he can do uh he can actually three hunt at a pretty high level i think he's like a better dante divincenzo would be a pretty fair a pretty fair description for this card i think he's basically the same size as dante divincenzo uh and he gives you kind of similar things but more versatile as a slasher better finishing badges uh and probably a better release better animations as well to be honest uh oh my gosh good move oh my lord big o he's tough i think he's the best point guard in the game he might well amen gives you more size and that is valuable both defensively and he is a better slasher as well but at the same time the big o can do some things on the court as a shot creator that amen simply can't do and i think i mean i don't know man there's an argument to be made for both of them and they're and they're there's separate strengths it all depends on what you're looking for out of the point guard position at least to a certain extent but to a certain extent as well like cards that are this complete and have this good badges and everything are going to be elite cards no matter what that's a bad charge my fault not a good possession there he's getting pretty tired i missed a couple makeable shots too i very easily probably should have like 14 points but this is such a good drop today, bro, because Oscar is elite. KP is elite. Both of them are, at worst, arguably the best player at their position. Um, and then KP and uh, Vince are also both incredible top three options at their positions. Um, like, it's just a really, really deep good drop today. Tons of good budget cards just across the board. This is an awesome drop. And I am enjoying today's content. I really think 2K has been cooking as of late with content. And they're doing a great job again today. I wish animations were better, but that's about the only thing I would change. And I think Oscar can run an offense as well as any point guard in the game right now. In terms of the versatility and the all-around ability to be a great offensive card, great shooter, good release, all that type of stuff, while also being an elite level defensive card. 56 seconds left. Uh, that's a bad three ball to give up. But if we could convert here, we should be just fine. If I paid more attention, we'd be fine defensively. But i've been trolling this game i'm not even gonna lie uh kp blow by back up top to oscar nobody's really open so we're just gonna have to create something here quick slip kobe behind red back to the corner oh beautiful we'll take it i could have kicked that to the corner for a three ball but we'll take it good assist uh play take on oscar as well is is one of my favorite takeovers i literally will not complain in the slightest about play takeover on a point guard ever so if that's his base takeover i am totally totally cool with it great push pop i suck defensively for that possession i'm not even gonna lie that was that was pretty bad. 
Um, we can score here and win the game, though, basically. Because um, he's going to have a tough time if I score here and win the game. Uh, burst here. Let's go. Oscar getting through the ski. Didn't. Oh, yep. Got him. Got him. Got him. Let's go. Big O. Oscar Robertson getting through the screen, knocking down the three ball. I think he thought I was going to either try to play Nick for somebody else with the play take. Are we serious? My defense sucks. I just gave up a wide spanking open three pointer and or actually four pointer. And we're lucky that he didn't make it. Oscar with the stick dunk, 13 points, three assists. And this is a base Oscar. No extra badges, no shoe, no nothing. He's a great defender. He can slash at a high level. He's a great shooter. He moves pretty well. In my opinion, he's probably the best point guard in the game. He's definitely the best all around point guard in the game right now. Really a big fan of Oscar in my team. And I think he's a great, great card. But I hope you all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace